to Saraday. I've always hoped to one day find out my biological family name. But I cannot go to the harbor office in person to see my file. Could you go there and bring the file to me? Of course. But you will have to come with me to the port and tell me a little more. Right. Also, I don't want any noughts to be hurt in the process. Despite my desire to know my origins, the noughts are still my family. Don't worry. We'll be discreet. We can see everything from here. Here we are. We have a good view from here. The harbor office is well guarded, both outside and inside. Getting through the main entrance is impossible. There must be a blind spot. There's always one. You could dress as a knot and go through the back door, but someone may recognize you inside. I'll need to be much more discreet. A potion could help me. That is an option, yes. But since I'd rather avoid hurting any knots, I made some inquiries. The harbor office has an arrangement with Dieter from the brothel. Girls come every night with wine. I see. You want us to spike the wine so that they sleep during our search. It's a proven technique. And I can assure you they do not sniff the wine before drinking it. I already have a sleeping potion on me. Right, let's go see this Dieter at the brothel. Yes, why? You looking to have a good time? It seems like you're sending girls and wine to the harbor office every night. So, there's no law against that, is there? No, and I'm not here to stop you. Listen, Dieter, we just wanted to add a secret ingredient to your wine tonight. 
What? Are you joking? Are you trying to slip a laxative in it? We were thinking more of sleeping pills. Nothing bad, you see. Listen, I have nothing against a little prank, but I can't risk losing my best customers. Captain Vasco is very influential among the Nords. Maybe he could help expand your excellent clientele even further. If you accept, I could arrange for your agreement to come to fruition. In San Mateus, for example. San Mateus? Ah, I would have to recruit. But yeah, that would be interesting. So then, we agree? Yes, that's fine. Tonight your friends will receive their delivery seasoned. Now, give me the sleeping potion. Thanks to Dita, you should be able to slip into the Harbour Master's office after dark. But you should still dress as one of us, just to make sure you avoid confrontation. Good idea. I'll see to it. It's pitch black. It's the perfect moment. Dieter's girls should be here soon. In your usual clothes, you'll not go unnoticed at the port. But it's up to you. I think we should wait a little longer. You're right. This gives us time to find you a... It's pitch black. Dieter's girls, but it's up to you. I think we should wait a little... You're right. It's pitch black. It's the perfect moment. Dieter's girls should be here soon. What do you want to do? We will wait for Dieter's girls to do their work as planned. Then we'll enter. Very well. It's definitely the safer option. Dieter's daughter is gone. Your guard should get a good night's sleep now. You should go. I'll wait here as planned. I can't risk getting caught there. Don't worry. I'll make sure not to hurt anyone. Good luck, Disardi. I don't have the key.
Damn it, I told you not to hurt anyone. What happened? I was spotted. I didn't really have a choice. I explicitly said I didn't want my brothers to be hurt. I should never have trusted you with this mission. I'm sorry, but I managed to recover your file anyway. You should take a look at it. <sighs> Let me see that. So I was right. My real name is Leandra, son of the Darcy family from Serene. Nobles, I suppose. Yes. I must admit, I had no idea they'd given a son to the Nords. To think that I spent my childhood polishing ship bridges when I could have been wearing silk. I'm sorry for you, Vasco, but growing up in nobility is not as simple as it sounds. Really? Well, whatever. I've learnt my real name thanks to you, and that's what I wanted. Leandra Darcy. I remember coming across a Darcy at my uncle's court. Your brother, no doubt. My brother? What was he like? It was a long time ago. We were children. I couldn't tell you what he looks like today. A brother? I wonder if we are alike despite our completely different lives. Thank you for sharing this and for telling me about him. You gave me back my identity. This is more important than the Nords care to admit. We can see everything. Here he is, red-handed. The sellout. Shall we arrest him? We should first find out what he puts in the box. Let him finish. The way is clear. Now, let's take a look at this box. The captain and his buyer should meet here at nightfall. This must be where the exchange will take place. We should put this message back in its place. Nobody should know that we've read it. And we should warn the Admiral immediately. She'd want to know. Let's go.
Mr. Sarde, what can I do for you? We know a little more. Reuben continues to use the dead drop and has made an appointment with his buyer. He has quite the nerve to continue using that box even though he knows you know about it. He must have thought that we would not come back. The meeting is tonight. This could be a good time to get the proof we need. What do you think? That's an excellent idea. I will come with you. I want to see this traitor fall with my own eyes. From this position, we'll be able to see the meeting discreetly. Perfect. I can't wait to witness it. This traitor is going to find out exactly what it costs to make fun of us. Men of the coin. Our greedy captain has gotten together with them. The wretched traitor. How dare he sell us to lawless mercenaries. May the enlightened protect me in this... got what he deserved. Is everything all right, Admiral? It's nothing. Sorry to have charged like that. I got carried away. I couldn't bear to see this traitor sell his whole family for a few coins. Do you want us to tend to your wound? No, I'll go back to port and get back on my feet. Find the documents. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, the three of you. In addition to a substantial sum, Reuben is also going to obtain a major post on the continent. He was ready to sell more than just his own knowledge. There are plans for machines and ships that he must have stolen from elsewhere. Everything is here. We'll give it to the Admiral tomorrow. Sade, I'm happy to see you. Can I do anything for you? What do you think of the love that unites those young people? It really seems as if they share something special. It's true. I don't think I've ever stumbled upon two people that were so close to one another. On the continent, where everything is political, 
It only happens in fairy tales. But here... Do you ever think that you could become that close to someone? To be honest, no. Not before I saw this young couple. What about now? I do not like to lose myself in vain reveries. But for some time now, I've begun to think that such sharing of ideas and feelings is in fact possible. Anything else? I must leave you. I... I'm a bit nervous. I've read many books on this subject, but they don't say anything about the way I feel right now. May I come in? <laughs> come on. Forget about the books for a bit. Yet another marvelous memory shared with you. And this one only belongs to us. I feel as if my heart is exploding. I've never felt this way about anyone. I suppose this is how it feels to be in love. Do you feel the same? Yes, Afra. I'm fairly certain this is love. And I love you too. It's such a peculiar sensation. And it's so tremendous. Ah, oh, my beloved. He was ready to sell more than just his own knowledge. There are plans for machines and ships that he must have stolen from elsewhere. In addition to a substantial sum, Reuben is also going to obtain a major post on the continent. Everything is here. We'll give it to the Admiral tomorrow. The best four is two on all in our week. I'm a bit nervous. I've read many books on this subject, but they don't say anything about the way I feel right now. May I come in? <laughs> come on. Forget about the books for a bit. Yet another marvelous memory shared with you. And this one only belongs to us. I feel as if my heart is exploding. I've never felt this way about anyone. I suppose this is how it feels to be in love. Do you feel the same? 
This moment we shared was extraordinary indeed, Afra. But I prefer it if it remained unique. I understand. Oh. It will remain a treasured memory. Desade, I'm happy to see you. Can I do anything for you? I must leave you. Sir, good people. Thank you. Desarde, what can I do for you? How are your wounds? I recovered fast. It was nothing. Did you find the documents he intended to sell? Yes, here they are. But there was more than just his journal. So, he lusted after a prestigious position. And what a salary! I see that our secrets are still worth a fortune. Thank you for bringing me all this. As for you, Alba, I owe you an apology. I should have trusted you. You have nothing to do with it. The captain did everything to make me appear guilty. No. If we put the same trust in the volunteers as in the Seaborns, this would never have happened. We owe you a lot, Desarde. I will not forget it. Nor will I forget the lesson. Be sure of it. You have my full gratitude. Anything else? I have come to ask for your help, Admiral. My cousin has been plunged into madness. And he apparently wishes to conquer the whole island. He took control of many creatures by reenacting rituals he learned from the islanders. And now he uses them to attack the cities and the villages of those he considers to be his rivals. A difficult situation, admittedly, but one that does not concern us. Who's in charge of the island is none of our business to Sarde, and you know that. It actually does concern you. If my cousin takes control of the island, soon there will be no ports where your ships can berth. He's not looking for political influence. He desires power. Absolute power. I see. It's a decent argument. So what now? We must stop him at all costs. And for that, I will need allies. I intend to convince other factions to support me. But I was hoping I could count on the help of the Norts. Alas, even if I wanted to, I couldn't send you my men. They don't trust you enough to follow you and fight on land. Could there be a way to make them change their mind? I suppose. You could, for example, solve the small problems we have entrusted you with. Very well. I will do my best. Even though time is running out. I expect nothing less of you. See you later, Desarde.
What brings you here on Omanawi? I came to ask for your help in stopping my cousin, Dunkus. Did you hear about the attacks of creatures led by strange guardians throughout the island? Yes, Daren sent a messenger to tell me about it. My cousin was sick, and to cure him, Katasak used the bonding ritual on him. But the power he received from it made him mad, and he started bonding himself in other places. He transformed his guardians each time, and used them to attack those he considers to be his rivals. What you're telling me is terrifying. Katasak and Devosh, Tire, should never have bonded him. Your cousin is breaking the balance. He's consuming and will only want to consume more. Indeed. Enonmiel Frichtemann warned me that Constantin was now targeting the sanctuary at the heart of the island. I cannot fight him alone. I need allies. I intend to go and find the other factions and ask for their support. But I also need your people. Because we must all stand together to stop the threat that is weighing on the island. Your will to create an alliance between all the peoples on this island is wise and noble. And the call of Enomil Frichtemann cannot remain unanswered. We will be by your side in the battle. I am not a fighter, but Dedra will lead our warriors. And I would also like for you to take this weapon. I pray it will be useful in the fight that is coming. Thank you, Dunkus. Don't thank me. You managed to earn my people's trust. And you fight for a cause that affects us all. May the Earth support each of your steps. And may the volcano give you its strength. I must admit that I expected Dunkus to be more angered when he learned what Constantine had done. He is an intelligent man. He must have guessed the purpose of our visit before we even spoke to him. That confirms it. I made the right choice. Tiafredi couldn't have a better High King. Your Eminence, I salute you. Sir de Sardé, what can I do for you? Do you remember I thought that someone must have been responsible for the attacks you sustained? Yes, you thought that this guardian who sent us the animals couldn't have been acting alone. And I was right, sadly. You're hesitating. Are you afraid of my reaction? Indeed. As the person responsible is none other than my cousin. Constantine. Uh, does this mean that the congregation has decided to wage war on us? And thanks to which obscure alliance has your cousin been able to manipulate these creatures? Constantine acted alone, and he betrayed us as much as he betrayed you, believe me. As for the way he manipulated these creatures, do you remember that my cousin was sick? Absolutely. 
And it is said that his recovery was the result of a rather suspicious miracle. Are you telling me that your cousin has made a pact with the demons of this island? Something like that. He was cured by a Donegad of the island who performed a bonding ritual. But the power he received from this made him thirsty for more, and he bonded himself to other places, thus gaining control over the guardians who were protecting these sacred places. But why attack us? Did his madness make him forget about our alliance? His thirst for power is making him want to control the island entirely by himself. And I know that for this purpose he will soon attack the native's main sanctuary on the volcano. I won't stand a chance against all the creatures he's taken control of. And I need some help. Others have already joined me. But we also need the support of Teleme. Having a common enemy should help us forget all the differences that have been opposing us. The idea that we would protect the sanctuary from an insular demon is completely insane. But you have helped us several times, and I trust your judgment. You can count on our help. My men will fight by your side. Thank you, Your Eminence. Thanks to your wisdom, we have a chance to prevail. I must leave you. Naturally, Your Excellency. Greetings. How are you? Desarde, I'd like to know more about my family. I need to know what became of them. Could you accompany me to see Lady Morange? I'm afraid that without you, she may refuse to give me any information. All right, Vasco. Let's go see Lady Lorene Morange. Your Excellency, Lord de Sade, and to what do I owe this honor? I have come to solicit your help and to propose we forge an alliance. An alliance? Against whom? You remember, no doubt, the attacks that fell upon Hakebed, but also San Mateus, and against the natives. Of course. You told me that different guardians sent the beasts. Precisely. And the guardians were manipulated by someone. I discovered who it was. This revelation will not please you, but I have no choice but to tell you. It is Constantine. Surely you jest. What is the meaning of this? Do you know how many men have died during these attacks? Allow me to continue, I beg you. My cousin's sickness shook him to the core. Then, there was a ritual and his capture. And Constantine has fallen into madness. 
He has been increasing these rituals in order to link himself to the island, to gain power and manipulate its creatures. He is fighting a war against everyone, and it now appears he wants to take control of Tirfredi. He is preparing to attack the Volcano Sanctuary, and I need help to stop him. It is in the name of the congregation that I come to see you. Constantine betrayed us as well. That's madness. It is complete madness. All of this superstitious nonsense. These absurd theories. I believed you sincere, Disarde. Which does not mean that I believe you now. But no matter. You are in need of men to stop your cousin who has already attacked us. Precisely. I have already gathered support, but I need as many allies as possible. Let us be clear. I don't believe for an instant that this story has a link to the island or whatever foolishness. But I do trust you. You have rendered us valuable services and have supported us. And since we cannot allow the crimes of your cousin to go unpunished, we will stand beside you. Oh, thank you, Excellency. Thank you. You have improved our chances of success tenfold. I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lord. Day, dear sir. Happy to see you again in such fine health. How can I be of service? We would like to have some information regarding an important family, the Darcys. Well, I could tell you many things about them, but I suppose that you want to know something in particular? Are there any members of this family on the island? Indeed. Bastien Darcy, the son of the family, has been in New Serene for some time. Last I heard about it, he was doing business. But that doesn't help in knowing where he is. The Darcy's first attempt at establishing themselves on this island wasn't very fruitful, but I seem to recall that since then the son has found a competent associate who's been working here for a long time. Perfect. Could you tell us where to find her? Of course. Ask for a Madame Clerk near the warehouses on the port. That's where she normally is. I hope the Darcy's are not in trouble. Don't worry, madam. Their name was simply mentioned in some business discussions. We are thinking about becoming associates. We would like to know more about them to form an opinion. If you ask me, you should forget this idea, Your Excellency. Their son is a poor business partner. Why do you say that? I do not mean to speak ill of him. Perhaps it would be better for you to form your own opinion. Well, thank you for your help, madam. Can I help you with any other matter? My lady, I have to go. Goodbye.
can I help you? Are you here to do business? Are you Madam Clerk? We would like to meet with your associate, Mr. Darcy. Bastion? I don't know where he is. I can't say that he often graces us with his presence. You don't have the slightest idea where he is? I am not his caretaker, you know. You don't seem to hold him in high regard. Listen, my relationship with my associate is no one else's concern. And if you didn't come to do business, well... We must find him. This man you can see by my side is his brother. Do not insult my intelligence. I know that the Darcy's only have one son, alas. You can see the Nort tattoos on his face, can't you? And a merchant like you must surely know about the Nort's recruiting process. So it is true. The Darcy's gave away one of their children. I find it hard to believe. He was supposed to go to Hickmer to deal with one of our clients. But I didn't receive any news from him after his departure. And given his tendency to get himself into impossible situations, I didn't try to get any. Who is this client? His name is Ferrat. You'll find him in the Alchemist District. Uh, I'll write this down. You think something may have happened to him there? His mission wasn't very complicated. He had to pay for a valuable shipment and take charge of it. But with Bastion, anything is possible. Thank you, madam. If you come to do business, you should go upstairs. I am but a poor underling. Hello, sir. Is this the house of the man called Farad? It is I. What can I do for you? We're searching for Mr. Darcy. He was supposed to come here to do business. Yes. Yes, he did come here, but... I don't know where he is. <sighs> to be honest, our exchange did not exactly go as planned. And if you are his associate, or a member of his family, know that you owe me a large sum of money. How so? Well, this Darcy fellow came here to take the shipment, and he was supposed to deliver me a promissory note. Which never arrived, I imagine. How could you let him leave with your merchandise without payment? Well, he's the son of a very well-known family. I did not deem it necessary to try and obtain more guarantees. What if something happened to him? Nothing happened. At least I don't think so. Why should that concern me? I'm not his brother. He owes me money, and I do not have the slightest idea of where he might be. 
I suspect that you're not telling us everything. Oh, come on. If you have not come to repay his debt, leave me alone so I can work in peace. Greetings. If you have come to do business, head upstairs. Why do you say that? They haven't been paying me, and I've had to work with cheap ingredients for weeks. What do you do here, exactly? I create and prepare complex potions. Not simple health potions, but far more subtle things. And if I'm not mistaken, things are not going the way you would want them to. The boss has always been difficult. But ever since he got ripped off, it has been a living hell. I work using leftovers thrown away by all the other alchemists, while listening to him screaming at me and everyone else all day. This is no way to live. Have you heard of a man called Bastian Darcy? <sighs> it would be difficult not to. His name is the only thing my boss talks about. Apparently, he did not pay for one of our shipments and still left with the goods. And now my boss makes me work twice as much to compensate for his losses. With ingredients I wouldn't even feed to a pig. And what did your boss do? Well, he spent every waking hour cursing his name. That's how I learned about it. Afra, did you want to say something? Yes, I did. I can tell from your workbench that you are a talented and conscientious alchemist. And I happen to have a friend who is looking for an associate with your kind of profile. Are you really Afra, the great naturalist of the Burham Court? Indeed. I... I am very honored. Your compliment goes straight to my heart. I would be delighted to meet your friend. My boss did not only curse the name of the man you're looking for, he also hired some thugs to find him and our shipment. Interesting. I think we may need to have a few words with your employer. If you could also tell him that I am resigning, then I won't need to go upstairs. I told you everything I know. I must go back to work now. You again. I already told you that I do not know where the man you're searching for is. You may not know where he is, but you did everything you could to find him, didn't you? What do you mean? Does this document ring a bell? You hired some debt collectors to find Mr. Darcy. How dare you rummage through my belongings? You could have taken legal action and retrieved what you were owed, but you sent some killers instead. I doubt the governor would approve. Do you want us to tell him about it? No. But please, understand me. The Darcy family is on the continent. It would take months for them to reply to my complaint. What other solution was there? My shop will not survive this. Tell us who these debt collectors are and we'll take care of it. They loiter in an alleyway of ill repute, not far from here, in the science district. That's what I feared. Probably a bunch of cutthroats. If Bastian survives... If he survives, remind him of what he owes me.